three possible futures, the better. The timeline that progresses opposite the standard decaying of entropy is isomorphic, meaning cyclical. We call this measure of time better because it is in keeping with our biological existence, which is likewise negatively entropic, surviving opposite the highest odds of it being impossible to do so. This principle is argued backward, from present to past, anthropically, by saying if things had not been as they were before, we would not see things being the way they are now. In short, that which is good for the survival of biological life is considered better than the opposite, that is, the decay of ordered matter toward chaotic energy called entropy. In a timeline where conditions improve for biological life, chaotic conflicts are replaced by ordered systems. This occurs only when one end of the timeline is plugged in to the other end, thus forming a cycle as an isomorphic or self-connected shape. Such isomorphic cycles comprise the better form of timeline than their opposite, the worse form of unimpeded entropy, which is expressed as a single direction of motion along a universal timeline. The reason this principle is anthropic, argued backwards from present to past, is because an isomorphic cycle in time travels faster, slower, and sometimes even opposite the direction of the timeline surrounding the outside of it. Likewise, if things were not as they are now, then such a better form of future would not be possible. The same. If all events in time were measured as like a string of beads, and a better future would connect the opposite ends of such a thread to one another, then it logically follows the worse future would disconnect all the beads from the string and leave only randomized chaos. However, it is also worse than to make from a string of beads an isomorphic necklace, yet also better than total random chaos, that the string of beads should simply continue on in a more or less straight line, and neither reconnect to itself nor crumble into complete disorder. In such a model, the trends of both survival and war would continue unendingly, and all that we build would fall, be rebuilt, and fall again unendingly, only to the extent that it is improved upon each time and the parts that fail left behind. Such a compromise between an improving timeline where survival becomes ever easier and a worse timeline where survival becomes constantly more difficult is indeed considered the way of the world yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Survival is a struggle where good wins half the time and evil wins the other half. Such a timeline would only appear to change on the surface but would essentially remain the same forever. Thus, although not isomorphic itself, it would allow the formation within it of temporary isomorphic timelines. The worse. In a timeline that progressively degenerates all matter into energy in a single direction, the formation of biological life could not be possible in the first place. The existence of consciousness, of self-awareness, as potential in all biological life presupposes such a universal downward spiral as impossible. Thus, though life does die, and though good does not always win, and though all matter does eventually decay into energy, and entropy will one day have evaporated all order into chaos, at this point where we exist now in such a universal timeline, there is the allowance for isomorphic cycles to arise in opposition to the mainstream current, the passage of universal time. In the conditions which would be worst for the survival of biological consciousness, all has broken down into complete chaos, disorder, entropy, and energy, and there is no chance for any form of life, order, matter, or isomorphic cycle to form.